Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. I'm M. Spain, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make prints using fruit. This week we've been focusing on things that we are grateful for, and I'm so thankful I have enough to eat. I hope that I can support efforts around the world to ensure that people have food to eat. So many people are hungry right now, today, and they might not even be across the world. They might be down your street. They might be your next door neighbor. Make sure you're looking for opportunities to share with them. That's probably all I need to say about that. I'm grateful for food, and so that's why we are doing the prints with fruits and vegetables. Today I'm gonna show you the technique, making the prints with vegetables and fruit, and then tomorrow, Ash Ashley Krieger from Createful Art and Createful Kids is going to show you how to make a composition using these prints. This is a really fun activity and it also you can create some really cool stamps using these different pieces of fruit. But before we start, I'm going to quiz you on what fruit or vegetables you think that these prints are. A, B, C, D, E, F, at the end, I will show you the answers to that question. Let's get started. These are the supplies that you need. You need fruit and vegetables, whatever kind you want. I'll show you the different prints that you can make and then you can decide which types you want to try. You need paint. I'm just using these acrylic paints that I got from the craft store. These were less than a dollar each. You can just use one color. You can use all the colors in the rainbow, whatever colors you want. Paper. I'm using printer paper. You can use watercolor paper if you want something a little bit more sturdy. You need a palette or a plate to put your acrylic paint on to use when you stamp it. You need a paper towel and you need to cut the fruit in half. And I would suggest using a very straight butcher knife because you can get it cut all the way through. You don't, you want it to be as flat of a cut as you can. These knives are dangerous, so make sure you have an adult's help if you are young and you're watching this tutorial. And a paper towel, I don't know if I said that. So let's get started. So the first one we're going to try is an apple. First, let's cut the apple in half. When we cut the apple in half, I wanna keep the stem on one side, so I'm just gonna try to cut it on the side of the stem. Straight through. So we have this nice shape, and then we're gonna keep the stem on that one because I want the stem in the prints. Then choose one of your paints. You can either choose to stamp it in like this or to use your paintbrush and paint it on. And you can just grab your piece of fruit and just press it in there. Make sure it's completely covering it. Take your paper and press your piece of fruit onto it with the stem if you want to. And I'm gonna try to press it harder this time. So this is if you don't apply a lot of pressure and this is if you apply a lot of pressure. All right, let's see what an orange looks like. This is kind of a yellow orange, but that's the time of year. <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of orange in this. And you can use a paintbrush to kind of mix it around. Take your orange. Now one thing that's going to happen, you have to be careful about, if you get too much paint on it, it's just going to be a circle. I wanna make sure I get it all around these edges and that it's not too thick. It might take a few stamps before it starts to look like an orange. And then take your orange and just stamp it on the paper. So you can see that with all the paint on there, it kind of takes a few tries before you can get it to get that citrusy shape and it is getting a little bit juicy. So you might wanna stamp it a few times on another piece of paper before you do the final one. And then you just wanna stamp it and kind of make sure the edges are on there. Okay, let's try our lemon. Let's see if that's any different. So take your lemon, press it. Ew, that looks way better than the orange. So the lemon was more successful than our orange. Okay, let's see now what this mushroom looks like. Take your mushroom, kind of look at it and make sure it's all covered and press your mushroom on your paper. The mushrooms are really cool shapes. All right, let's see what a pepper looks like. Let's just cut it in half this way. So you can add more paint if you need it. Just make sure you've got enough on there. And take your paper. Pepper is beautiful. It's almost like a flower shape. I have seen this done in pictures and it looks awesome. So let's see if it really works, like how they say it does. This is bok choy. So I'm just gonna cut the bottom off of it. And then we're left with this on this side and then it looks like this on the other side. So we could probably use either of these. I'll start with this side. For this one, I'm just gonna put the paper right next to it. So I'm just gonna grab it like this, put it in there. The hardest thing is keeping them all on the same level here, okay. I think we separate these a little bit more. So it should kind of look like a rose. Okay, before I get my hands clean, let's do this next one. This is a pomegranate. That looks like a very old pomegranate. <laughs> okay, so this is a pomegranate. I mean, the pomegranate on its own is super juicy. What we wanna do is take our paper towel, dry it off, and then try to get some of those ones that are open out. Get my pomegranate in there. Just give it a little more pressure, it actually is a nice print. 
And that's it. So look at these different prints. See if you can match them with their fruit now after you saw me do it. So tomorrow, Jessica Krieger from Createful Art, also Createful Kids, is going to show you how to make things out of these prints, how to finish them. So this is the technique and she's gonna show you some different ways to present it and to show it. So check out her channel, here's a link. And have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube. I'm gonna have fun eating all of the other halves that I didn't paint on.